Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is going to be a little bit different of a video. Uh, I have been sick and I haven't been able to play golf very much. And because I was sick, I was going to go to the PGA show in Orlando, Florida, but I wasn't feeling well. So I thought it was a bad idea. So even though ch uh, tickets were cheap and everything else, I didn't go. But this is something, I've never been to the show before, but this is something that I've done every year for the past like five years, is I do this. I go to the PGA show's website and I look at the exhibitor list just to see if there's any mainly the main thing that I'm looking for when I do this is for training aids right because I'm an obsessed golfer and I'm always trying to to be better right so this is what you do you go to the PGA show and you type in the exhibitor list so today this video is going to be kind of like a uh, just an honest reaction to uh, the different stuff that's on the list I know that uh, in past years, there has been some really cool stuff, but a lot of times you're really surprised at some of the stuff they put on the list. So let's just go through the list of things at the PGA, some of the things, you can't get through all of it, uh, but some of the things at the PGA show. And let's see, and I want to know in the comments, if you guys see anything that looks interesting or cool to you, or you disagree with me on, let me know in the comments if you think it's, it looks cool. But this is just going to be an honest reaction for uh, you guys to see some of the, the things that are at the show and also just kind of my opinions on uh, golf products and the way to sell them and uh, some ideas about them. All right, so let's check it out. Uh, items from the 2017 PGA Show. File this video under day late and a dollar short because the PGA Show is over at this point, but let's do it. All right, so you go to the all exhibitors and then you hit the training aid button, which is where we're on here. See this training aids. So there's 183 different training aids, uh, different uh, video training, swing analyzer, launch monitors, instruction general, and fitness and exercise systems. So let's check it out. Just going through them. All right, 18 birdies. That's like an app, I think. I've seen some ads about that. It's not interesting to me. 4D motion sports. I saw something about this quickly. So you guys know the my swing thing, and the PGA's website is not very good. So you always just I always just end up opening a new tab. All right, so 4D motion sports. Let's see what this is. Okay, so this is like those little sensors, and you put them on your body and the club. So there's a 12 sensor set and a six sensor set and you put it on the club, and here it is. So this is like, this is the idea here, where uh, you can see your X Factor and your functional swing plane and some other stuff. Here's the YouTube video. I don't know, I don't think you guys can hear this music. All right, so, Tiny sensors on the body. Let's see that in action. This kind of reminds me of a lot of stuff. Better shoulder plane, moving your body in a better way. But the All right, that's, that's cool. If it works, that could be super valuable, especially for a teacher. But I'm sure that thing, let's, let's, how much is that? Product. Um, 1450 for six sensors and 2,450 for 12 sensors. So yeah, that's certainly something that a teacher would get. I've done some stuff with my swing and I've done some stuff with K vest and stuff like that. And it helps a teacher kind of prove things to students, but in and of itself, I don't know if it really helps people get better. All right, let's move on. 80 breaker. What is that? Oh, that's something to do with like golf stats or something. I'm not interested in that. Abitech group, AG. All right, presents the brand new golf swing analyzer, which allows a new way of golf training by 3D recording the complete golf swing. Let's see if we can see some of these things are just named so poorly that they are immune to a Google search. See, like here, I'm getting it on the, the golf swing thing, but I'm not getting it. I'm, I'm getting it on the, uh, the PGA site, but I'm not getting it anywhere else. So you get half a chance, and then I give up on you. Let, let, let's see. 
going into it. Like I said, I hate clicking these links in the site because the site is, is... All right. Moreover, the G Swan offers a user-friendly data analysis, mobile wireless use. All right. So they, they have failed to... Uh, there's no website. There's, there's no name. So, and there's no way to search it. So that's a major fail by them, I think. About Goff, the world's best indoor simulators. Indoor simulators are cool. Like some of them, the, the one that works through the Foresight is really good. So uh, if you have the space, especially like one of my friends or one of my subscribers that lives in London has a really nice simulator. If you have the space and the money for it, like, yeah, that's cool. You can sharpen your golf game for sure. All right. Uh, Aguila Technologies. Train your brain for strokes gained. Let's see what this is. Aguila Golf. Let's see if that works. Nope. See that you guys need to, the name has to be something that's like easily look upable in in golf in on on Google. Train your brain. Here we go. Aguila Golf virtual reality mental game training system. But that's not Aguila Golf VR. Here's their Twitter. Okay, I, I've used something like this called like Icos. All right, virtual reality has met golf instruction, VR. See, basically like everything, if you're running a golf company, everything you thought you were going to put into money for your website, for your marketing, forget all that money you were going to spend and just make a YouTube video. Your YouTube video is the most important calling card to your product beyond anything. Let's see if it pops up. Aguila Golf. VR training. Nope, it doesn't come up. See, other stuff comes up for like golf games and whatnot, but not your product. So, uh, sorry guys, there's no way for me to really re review it. Alignment Pro. Okay, I saw this. No, 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 no. I did not want to go into it. Bad website. Okay, Alignment Pro Golf. This is their website. So this looked pretty cool actually when I saw their video. See these guys, I got to give these guys props because they they did they did an actual video and it looks good. So they're they you use this thing for putting. Basically it's it's an alignment stick that bends at the ends, right? So uh, it looks cool. And I would use that. What was he setting that up kind of like a half swing plane, yeah, kind of on an angle. You can dig it in to the ground. Yeah, you could use this for a lot of different things. I would use this. I think it's I think it's cool. Let me see something. Zach Blair PGA putter. This guy uses a Zach Blair just qualified after altering putter with his head. Oh, he hit it. Zach Blair. See, I thought he used a really weird what's in the bag. I thought Zach Blair used a really weird putter that I saw at Torrey Pines. Maybe not. Maybe it was somebody else using like a putter. I, th I thought I saw him using a putter that would look like a putter from uh, a mini golf course. No, no, that's just normal. All right. So Alignment Pro. The main thing that surprised me about this is if I go to shop, because it seems interesting, $70, that seems steep, but it actually would be super handy. But those alignment sticks that you get at Home Depot cost $2. So that's a major difference. Okay, moving on. A-Line Golf. Oh, this is weird. Let's see what this is. A-Line Golf insoles. A-Line Golf System. It's what's inside that counts. All right, so you put these into your shoes. People spend an insane amount of money on orthotics. So this is maybe the idea behind this. So they have a bunch of results, K-line K case study, A-line case studies, KVS results, athletes that use it. There they are, the PGA show. All right, shock absorbing gel provides T to comfort support, patented suspension zones, natural balance. I don't know. I don't know. They're not. I'm not. I know. I'm not buying it. I don't think it'll help me. I think I would play golf uh, barefoot just as good, um, or not just as good, but you know. Not, it wouldn't make a huge difference. You're certainly not going to spend a lot of money on something like that. And Stone put around golf gift. That's just a, uh, 
a little golf flag thing that you can. Arcos Golf. Arcos of, of all the different, so a lot of the, the categories in the PGA show are game trackers, game golf and uh, peak and a lot of other things that track your yeah, your ball. I would like to have that. I would like to have all those stats, but one, you can't hog my phone. Like I need my phone. Like I can't. And two, I don't want to be turned my my round of golf from being a golfer to being like a data entry, low level data entry person. Like I don't want to constantly be putting things in. Arcos, I think, in my opinion, because I've used Arcos a little bit, does the best job at at sitting back and just like kind of letting you play golf, and and it kind of gets the stuff in the background. But you still have to. It's still you still have to adjust things. And my friends who've used Arcos for a long time, it's like it's easy for them. But for me, like since I'm using my phone to do vlogging and stuff, it just doesn't work. Um, doesn't work perfectly enough. Somebody sent me something. I should give them a shout out because they sent it to me. But uh, an Irish guy that used to be one of the top amateurs in the world started a new company. It's it's like a watch. I haven't used that either, even though he sent it to me. So I should try it, but. And he says that that works totally in the background. So anyway, if you know what I'm talking about, or if this Irish man is watching, you put put that in the comment. <clears throat> That's our alarm system. We'll do that every 15 minutes or something. All right, this is kind of neat. Auto grip. So this is a uh, this is a. A squeezer that you put over your see see this you put this squeezer on top of your wheel. See, I got to say though, even for something like this, here, I hit play, nothing happens. Your YouTube video should be the number one thing that you spend money on. It should be the number one thing that your website is all about. Your that video, getting that in front of as many eyeballs as possible, is the most important thing. Way more important than any any of uh, you know having a fancy website or an awesome you know pay system or anything like that. So you guys get the idea. It puts these rubber things here. And I remember I was in a car accident once, and this kid, like 14 years old, who had taken his mom's car, had his girlfriend in the car, and he goes like this, whoosh, like that, in front of me, sideways on the freeway. I slammed the brakes, and I still hit him. But he like went like sideways. I don't think he was like uh, fooling around with his girlfriend when it happened. But when it happened, I was about to hit. And I went. I squeezed the, the the steering wheel like the, ah, like the death grip on it. My forearms for days were like really worn out. So uh, really sore. So this thing, I think, is I don't I don't know. Like I think it's pretty good, but I've seen a lot of stuff that that when you put a lot of squeezing and pressure, it's good for your forearms. But I've also seen that thing on Amazon. Actually, you put your fingers in these little cuffs and you squeeze outwards too. To give you that outward, because that's what's really good for carpal tunnel and, and like uh, golfer's elbow pain and stuff like that. So if you're doing this, also get something to do that. I think it's cool. I don't like that they put just squeeze it on their little name thing on the top, though. That's not cool. I probably would take this off and if I was like going on a date or something and the girl was getting in my car for the first time. You know, back in the day when I was doing that, <laughs> uh, I would probably take it off because it doesn't look that cool, but whatever. Beijing Sport Mood Technology. This is Wicca Training Camera. Let's see if, if I look this name up. Uh, let's try this. Wicca Training. You get a lot of these things from Asia that come here that sound really cool. And, uh, but they always fail in the execution. Like a lot of these things at the golf show, you know, they sound really. See, and they're they're, they have no, they have no YouTube video, they have no, that's not it. They have no YouTube video. They have nothing, like nothing comes up on. Like why why spend the money on going to the PGA show? I mean, I guess that maybe they just want it to be in the hands of professionals first, but. I, you should really be ready. So now I'm, I'm going. To, I'm kind of interested in this. It looks cool. The the design of it that looks neat. A portable wireless high frame rate camera. We provide double camera packages. Two cameras are able to record your swing at different angles at the same time. You know the iPhone has just crushed all these kind of things because the iPhone shoots it is amazing. It shoots 240 frames. All right, Wicca camera training user's guide. I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's not working for me. 
you guys know anybody from these companies? See, this is just a first impressions video. It's not really fair to do a full review, but it's just like kind of first impressions. When I see this, this is what like a normal golfer will think about this stuff usually. All right, BioCare Systems. Um, that looks like something that somebody with back pain that is extremely desperate would try to do. Maybe like a massage person or like an acupuncture person or a chiropractic person could get that and tell people that it helps. But it's not something that a normal consumer I think would get. All right, Chromax Golf Company, the BGM. What kind of acronym could, could that be? BGM Grip, BGM Grips. BGM hold system tutorial. Let's see, BGM putter grips. Oh, that's a huge grip, right? This guy looks serious. Look at that face. This guy looks like if I give his video a bad review, he's going to kick the life out of me. <laughs> that, that guy looks serious. All right, about us, the golf school of Hong Kong. Um... I want to see products. All right, or at least we have a, a, a YouTube video, so that's that's good. The BGM system tutorial. I don't think you guys will be able to hear this. Will you if I take this out? We have three important steps to setting it on the grip. Round with the club face vertical. This is called the ready position. What putter is that? Is that an even roll? Raise your, okay. holding the bottom of the face vertical. Raise your target hand or the thumb towards oh, the wrist. A huge this grip. is called ulna and radial extended. The forefinger and the finger. All right, so it seems like they have a putting philosophy that you use this grip to putt with. So I'm not super interested in that. So it's one thing to sell a product, but if you're selling your product along with your philosophy of how to swing the golf club or how to putt or anything else, now I gotta buy two things. I gotta buy your philosophy and I gotta buy. So if the philosophy is already super popular, you know, like uh, a certain golf swing philosophy that's really popular already and you're buying something that, that helps with that, then anyway. All right, blast motion golf. We know what that is. That's kind of like Sky Pro. Blind strike golf. I saw this for a second. Let's see what this is. Blind strike golf, let's see. All right, so we go to their, their webpage. I saw this before, I thought it was funny. All right, so look at this website, it's fancy. It's got a lot going on, this whole website. It's got all these logos, PGA, every single professional tour in the world, it seems. The product basically is, it, it shuts out your eyes so you can't see the ball, see, like up here. So it shuts out your eyes so you can't see the ball and, and it's kind of t to take the hit impulse away and it does a lot of bunker training. So they have this really nice nice website that they put, probably put thousands of dollars into. And the the, the YouTube video they have, I don't, this music is... Funky, cool music and stuff. But it's like, shot. this was shot in like an afternoon on a cell phone. And it's real simple. So it's like, for me, it's like, if your video isn't like ready for prime time, then your website's not ready for prime time. That's my opinion. And that thing doesn't look super interesting to me. Uh, but like I said, this is just like initial impressions. I could try some of these things and totally change my mind. Putting go, I, I saw this. I don't think this is, it's like some kind of, you, you hit a ball off of a device and you, and it kind of relays the information to your phone and you can't play little games, but it doesn't look, for me, it, lo it looks cheap. It doesn't, it, the impression I had was that it looks cheap and it didn't look ready. Ready to go. Uh, Chongling Hylon Company Limited. A name like that is, is going to be hard to, it just sounds cheap when, when, when you hear something that complicated. You know, I'd rather just buy something that is Nikon and then Callaway. Those are, have come together. Or Bushnell or... Or uh, Leopold, those are like normal names that I know. Even if this thing was called the, uh, you know, the Sure Shot or the uh, AccuYard or something like that, you know, that would be fine. That just makes me think that that's cheap. And unless it's super, super cheap price-wise, um, it wouldn't be interesting. 
And this is it's not really a club up, not really a training aid, it's not really in the right category. Club up. Club up golf, let's see. Golf news, reviews, tips, and more. This looks like a club champion driver fitting. Yeah, this looks like a content website. Not a particularly like dynamic one. Uh, Dewey's Indoor Golf, that's another indoor golf. Directed Force, you guys have seen, I, I did Directed Force did a commercial on my channel because Monty uses the Directed Force putters and when he played uh, pretty well his second round in the Long Beach Open, Directed Directed Force did a little promo link there. And Tony, actually, Tony Lutzak also uses Directed Force putter and he did, uh, I always hit this button. So Directed Force is a thing, a big deal is it, it's, it's less twisting, they say. So, uh, and people really like it, but I've just never used a mallet, so I'd be willing to try it, but I don't see it lasting. I really like their idea of the grip. Their grip, too, kind of raises your hands a little bit. There's a, other, a lot of things. Ditech, I mean, some of these names, that sounds like something from The Office. Ditech, bringing world-leading imaging, imaging to your golf game. All right, so they have the Swing Better Plessio. And the swing better. Let's see if, if Die Tech Golf. I think I'm spelling it wrong. Am I? No, I'm spelling it right. Die Tech Golf. No. These people with these names. Uh, all right, let's let's try Swing Better Plesio. And I'm spending way more time than the average user is. Swing better plus your fitting mode. Swing better. See, they have some YouTube videos, but immediately when I see stuff with like Asian writing all over it, it, it to me, it's it just seems like it's not really ready. It seems like it's something that has been invented and might be kind of cool, but it's not really ready. Oh, that's cool though. To be able to see the strike of the camera through through the the. Uh, the strike of the ball through the, that's cool. Um, what is Swing Better Stingray? See, I don't even go to the website. I can't even understand. This website's terrible. Swing Better Stingray, did I say? Stingray. See, it doesn't come up. Here's Ditech Corporation, Swing Better Stingray. And just goes to the PGA site. <laughs> All right, it looks like that is a, another one of these mats that uh, just uh, helps you hit off un uneven lies. So, like a golf company too, it's like I would separate your things because if you have like if you have three things to sell, now you have nothing to sell. It makes me seem like you're not super um, into any of the things you're selling. But if you have one thing to sell, that could be interesting. If you have like three or five things to sell, now you have nothing. If that makes sense. All right, uh, the Z Golfer, a Dallas, Texas company specializing in golf training aids. Yeah, if you guys are, this is turning into like a, a very pro-American thing. But if you you guys should put where you're from. Like when I hear a Dallas, Texas company, that that means something to me. If I heard like an Aberdeen, Scotland company, that would mean something to me. You know, like put where you're from. I, I think that's that's a good a good tip. The Z Golfer alignment system. There's a lot of these like super complicated alignment things where it's like you guys are going into a hard market when it comes to the alignment because you can get at Home Depot like the world's best alignment rods for two dollars as like parking uh, parking rods. So Z alignment golf. Here's the Z Golfer alignment system. And a YouTube video from 2016, which is cool. Oh, dramatic music. Give me business. I actually know this song because it's one of the free ones from YouTube. It's a good one, though. Uh, perfect target, perfect alignment, perfect ball position. Oh, that's kind of cool. Can set the path for in and out. This is the type of thing I think would be useful for an instructor if you're trying to get somebody more into out and more out to in. It's pretty versatile. If you start making a product too versatile, then it's really good for instructors who know what they want their students to do, but it becomes kind of useless for a regular golfer because they don't know how to set it up, you know, in order to make them better. 
and this is Charles Chandler's channel. Impact bags, e golfer alignment, and some other stuff. All right, let's move on. Is this interesting to you guys at all? All right, let's let's see. We're just gonna go to the the highly interesting things to me. Duo track four sensor. Uh, connecting performance and play. Don't try to get too fancy in your tagline. Do a track golf. Don't try to get too fancy in your tagline because that will mean nothing to me. All right, I saw this before. All right, this is a little ball, and if you putt with this ball, it's supposed to give you feedback of how you hit your putt, the launch of it, the roll of it. The... So they have two products here, and then also they have something that um, another one of these sensor products see yeah so you put these sensors on your on your on your body and it kind of shows you how your 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 club and body is moving but we can kind of see that with the camera and I don't know I don't know as far as a golf improvement tool how much all these uh, all these different um, swing trackers and how the body moves and stuff and gears golf and everything else it can help a teacher convince their students of things, but as far as like being like a repeating tool. The one thing that Sky Caddy did, or, or not Sky Caddy, Sky Pro did, had a practice mode built into it. That was awesome. Uh, that's all these things need to get away from getting awesome, perfect analysis and really cool things and get more into those practice modes uh, as something to, to really help you and like customizable practice modes. Because just because you think that the hips should only go forward four inches. I might be working in a golf philosophy or be a t type of teacher that, that doesn't think that or wants my uh, t uh, student to feel something else, feel less rotation in the hips or more slide or something else. That's why these fitness trackers need a practice mode that is customizable for a teacher, in my opinion. Okay, so Ernest Sports, th these things are, uh, this one here, the, the tour, I looked is like six thousand dollars, and then when they can make an earnest sports kind of thing that is like three hundred, four hundred dollars, that works on your cell phone, that will really be something. Basically, like imagine the track man that can do everything a track man can do, or everything like a foresight can do, but is just like this big. That will change golf, you know, or or something that is this isn't or that it just like attaches to your phone, like underneath, like here. That will be something that will be wild. That I think that'll help. If only, only though, if it really works. Not something that just makes like goofy mathematical algorithms that's just guessing at what the ball's doing. If something that's actually tracking the ball and is small like that, that'd be awesome. All right, Eyeline Golf is, uh, oh yeah, a lot of guys on tour use those things. It's the, the putting mirror and a lot of the other putting things and they have other training aids. Fat Matt. Uh, that is a it's a golf club with a hole in the center of it and you try to swing and miss the hole uh, It's not really the kind of feedback. I would be super interested in maybe good for like early golfers beginning golfers finally pain-free Some of these products are kind of catering to, to desperate people people that really really want to play golf, but they're in pain all the time, so I Feel bad for them, but I don't know if that's gonna help the wellness pro uh, fiber built manufacturing been revolutionized, so that's yeah, that's the golf mat. Yeah, golf mats could be improved a lot, for sure. Remember that v, VJ thing thing, the, the down and through or whatever, where the golf mat actually slid forward after that. That thing looked cool. Flight scope, flight scope's awesome. I like flight scope a lot. And then the flight scope focus band. That's something I would like to test. So that's that this halo that you put on your head, and it's supposed to read brain waves or something like that. I'm not, I don't know. It almost seems like a uh, modern day golf Ouija board. Like I'm not sure what it's actually getting. I'd like to talk to them more about it. But um, I've heard from some friends of mine who go to uh, Jason Goldsmith, the inventor of that thing, I think, that are students of his, and they they say it works really well. David Heinen, who was on my channel, says uh, a bunch of his juniors like they all started winning a bunch when they started training with focus band. So. Is it real? Is it kind of mumbo jumbo? I don't. I don't know. But will it make you better? That that those things might be mutually exclusive. It might not matter if it's if you believe it, and you're playing better. Who cares? If as long as you're playing better, and it might be real. You know, I'm not discounting that that it might be uh, completely legit. I haven't tried it yet. I'd like to try it. 
Uh, focus putt amazing. I, all right, I've seen this. Let, let's go into this. So remember when I was saying in training aids, you don't want to make them like too adjustable because if they if they get if they get like infinite amount of adjustability, then you as a regular golfer, you don't really know what you're looking for. You don't really know how to set it up without a teacher's help. All right, awesome YouTube video. I gotta give them props for that. They got the slider going. They got B-roll with low low nats. Wayne D. Francesco there, who does great YouTube analysis, swing analysis, and still plays, which I uh, still plays on. There's Wayne. Five PGA championships and one U.S. Open, and he was a 2000 National Club Pro. Yeah, he's a, he's a he's a baller. I think he teaches Kevin D., uh, Kevin Streelman. All right, so you see this thing like you can kind of see the uh, the idea to it. But you would almost need a Wayne DeFrancesco or some kind of teacher with you to show you, hey, how should I set this thing up? I like that. But with any training aid, super important that you set it. It's almost you would need two putters because you would set it up, hit one or two putts with it, then flop back to your, your regular putter. Like doing the flip-flop style, Adam Young flip-flop style with it is uh, super important with these. Let's move on. Foresight Sports, we know what that is. Foresight is really good. What did I... Didn't I just talk about that? What is the difference? So I just I said Foresight Golf. These people name their stuff too. And Flight Scope. Foresight is the one that I like more, I think. Which is the one that has HMT? Foresight and and Flight Scope. Anyway, they're both they're both kind of similar, but I think one is one is better. I, I like I know for a fact that I like Foresight a lot. And the Cleveland people tested it against uh, Cleveland people tested it against the TrackMan, and Mike Offspy tested it against TrackMan. And it's less than TrackMan, and it works in a more confined space, and it's uh, basically, they think it's just as accurate. Okay, Frogger Goff, Full Swing Goff. Frogger Goff does the towels, and I actually use this thing from Frogger Goff. It's like a little nub on the end to help you like let go of the club more. It, it wasn't super useful for me. Full Swing Golf is like an indoor simulator thing. FX Sports, the, four, the first psychological coaching device for golf. All right, so we already have mental problems. That's known. Uh, what is it? FX Sports and then golf. If I can't find you this way, then you guys see. Here it is. Here it is. I found it. I almost gave up, though. And that's about the attention span of the normal Internet user. So... There is something called FX Network and Fox Network. So, all right, and introducing VC Golf Sports Headphones, the first psychological coaching device for golf. Why can't this just be an app? Why does it have to be actual headphones? Let's find out. Let's give them a chance. I don't want to be negative. Vimeo. Introducing the v first of all, if you guys are doing it, use YouTube. You might have people that actually organically find your device. On Vimeo, nobody's going to see you. Even though quality might be better, it might be more privacy and stuff. Use YouTube. Headphones. The first psychological coaching device for golf. Great voiceover with guy. With many hours with an exclusive lessons from world class golf psychologists she seems and angry. trainers. This guy seems serious business. Hi, this is Karen Palacios Jansen. And today I'd like to talk to you about the importance of flexibility for golf. Hi, David McKenzie here. Welcome to my three drill combination experience of a real bubble to separate. It's all about this that you're focusing wow. on something you can control, whether it's hitting the ball. There's basically audiobooks that are preloaded into a set of headphones, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've seen this especially with the new AirPods and stuff like that and, and wireless headphones like these that I have. Um, yeah, that could be an app. And uh, it wouldn't be a streamlined, but I don't see why that couldn't be an app. All right, uh, Garmin, and maybe it is, so I'll give them a chance. Golf Around the World, one of my favorite websites because they, they are awesome for training aids. That's like the best. What is the Saber? That seems something new. It's very rare for me to hear of something that I haven't heard about training aid wise. I get excited. Saber, golf training aid. 
Plane awareness drill. Saber golf training plane awareness drill. Is this it? Saber golf. Looks like it would be it. Bad song. Hi there, Craig Hocknell here. Just going to run through another exercise for you. This particular one is about plane awareness. So what you do is oh, raise your energy, Craig. Take your saber, put it out in front of you. We're connecting the movement of our entire body with our arm swing, right? So what'll happen is if I turn and face in this direction. You should just do the move first. Like there should be quick little B-roll of what you're going to do and then explain what you're going to do. Uh, otherwise you get skipped. I take my golf stance. I'll turn with my arm straight okay. out. And usually like to put my fingers out like this to help as well. But you I get can you. curl them under if you want. But this helps me to see that plane. If from my perspective, I'm looking back, this looks like about a 45 degree angle or so. That's right right now, I'm not understanding why I can't do this with just a stick. What is this What is this saber? It's pretty good. Then what I do is I turn my body all the way to the other side. And when I stop in this position, I want to see that. See I don't want to have seen my arms moving back and forth. Hands down. It's there. moving. Something's inside there moving. I'm very Rotate confused. And stop. There we go. There, here. There's You're a ball in there. 45 degree angle. Rotate and stop. You're getting a good hip turn. You can see me moving my butt. Yep. Turning back, holding, turning through. Oh, it's almost more, it's good for your short plane. It's almost more something for, uh, that's like good flexibility exercise and stuff. Golf Caddy Pro. Like, like these are just initial impressions of this stuff. So it could be, they, they could, these could be good things. They could be, it could be garbage, but you really have to, you can't really tell until you are right, golf board surf, surf the earth that was i did the golf board at madeira's golf club i didn't like it you know it was a lot of hard work i didn't understand why did they have to make it so you have to lean it's so much work i mean i'm in pretty good shape but i'm like leaning it it's like why why couldn't it turn a little bit kind of like a scooter you know just let me be able to turn it like a normal thing like because i have to do this surf the earth leaning thing it was like a, a workout and all of a sudden like i'm tired I'm tired enough from just playing golf anyway so uh, yeah the golf board I wasn't a huge fan of and the guy it would have been more fun if the other people I had played with were also on golf boards but I wasn't on the golf board and I was like just annoyed I was like my arms were tired my my waist was tired um and I just and anyway I played the main thing that's hurting me from from saying I love the golf board is I played terrible that day was it because of the golf board? Probably not. Probably had nothing to do with it. But uh, that'll ruin something. That'll ruin your opinion of anything. Uh, I would try it again, though. Golf buddy. Um, I'm not interested in the GPS. What I would like to have is like a, a, an actual caddy, like a, like a caddy service that was cheap, kind of like an Uber for caddies. Somebody wanted to come out and do it at like an Uber price and caddy for me, you know, for. Uh, Gosh, see, the, the, the price I would pay for a caddy would be too low for anybody to do it, though. If they were good at shooting camera, I would pay for it. If they would hold my cell phone the whole time, then I would do it. A caddy, like an Uber for caddies there. You, can, you guys can have that. That's, that's free. You can have that one, whoever wants to do that. Uh, GPS quick clip. The only golf rangefinder cart mount you ever need to buy. Oh, is that that thing Rick Shields likes? Um, not that excited to, to look into it. If it is, good for you guys. Uh, Greenkeepers Inc. Golf Smart. Uh, they have, so this is four yards more. Those are those. It's like a pack of four tees that are super expensive. And the Line'em Up Pro. Just different golf plastic products that, that they sell. Hacker's Prescription. The prescription for proper practice. Let's see what this is. Hacker's RX. I'm not super excited about this. Because, like, whatever this is, I'm buying into your golf swing philosophy. Okay, it comes with a little practice station. It's kind of like the golfer's toolbox, right? That Bobby Clampett uh, pushes. Ball position, get started, flight the ball. See, these are all different things. That, see, they're concentrating on the instruction side, and they need to concentrate on the, the thing side. Like, show me... Show me what the thing is. Don't show me all your different theories of how to help your golf game. I, I recognize that guy. Billy Harmon, I think. 
They got a good voice. Talking about hackers. Yeah, there he is. Billy, I've been teaching Toscana Country Club. That's a nice place. Yeah, and then Billy, Billy Kratzer years. and Billy Harmon. It's a lot of talking. So now I'm 45 seconds into this video, which is half of it before I've seen anybody set up to it. How far you stand from the ball with the stand? With putting hackers by Hackers RX, it's the prescription for profit. Pretty good video. Not not super excited about that. All right, high definition golf simulators. Uh, whatever, don't care. Hold more putts. I saw something about that. Not interested. Hole out golf, absurdly functional golf gear that helps every player lower scores. Hmm. Do I care? Do I care? Ah, fine. I'll look. Hole out. Hole out golf. The hole out golf shop. That's not it. Golf improvement beyond golf gadgets. Buy one and we'll donate to youth golf. Just prove that it's going to be good for me before I'm starting. Doing charity. Okay, all right. This the anti sway. I've seen this thing before. This looks really nicely made. I've seen that thing. Looks like super solid. So I appreciate that. The whole out pro. Is this the flagship product here? Vimeo. Use YouTube. Imagine a tool so unique it allows you to effortlessly mark your ball. Is there a lot of effort that goes into marking my ball? That's like a showstopper there. Read any green with confidence and consistency. All right, so it's kind of like a method. Use this little. Use this marker. And then there's a counterbalance inside there. Oh, see, see, so they're selling a training aid with a green reading method. So like if Aimpoint had a certain thing that was, anyway, so I got to buy into the whole out green reading method and, and to also buy into their, you're asking me, all right, Tau Caddy. I don't understand that. And the perfect towel. Nah. I really like their design as far as the, the black and white with like shades of red. And, and, and I think that's great. And this anti sway pro, this thing actually, I think, can, can be pretty uh, useful for people, especially that hump the goat or come out of it. This was Pat. Oy vey, that sway. After just two weeks using it. Oh, how about these golfers that, that uh, play golf? Good. With the towel attached. I saw the trees. Started off with a 31.5. Those guys can ball though. I've lost money to guys with uh, towels on their belts. I have handicap index. The other day I was shooting not Reedy Creek that I'd shot double bogey before, and it was only 10 over when I finished. Too complicated. Dude. Pushing down and down. And All right, 26 strokes better in two weeks. Let's see this swing. It looks better. It does. Yes, it looks better. That's all we can ask, right? A little bit better. Icos. Icos is something that I have. I actually have this Icos thing. And uh, for young offers and stuff, I recommend it. I think it's pretty cool. It's super cheap. And uh, I, let's do Icos Golf. They're actually, they constant. the problem with this company, in my opinion, is uh, they concentrate way too much on swimming. The guy was a, an ex super competitive swimmer. And the whole company seems to care a lot more about swimming than about golf. Uh, it's good. Uh, you put these goggles on and you watch one of your favorite golfers again and again and again and again. And then you watch them again and again in slow motion and then you're so, and then it goes black and while it's black you're supposed to feel that feeling in slow motion. You go through this whole little um, this whole little routine, but it actually like it kind of gets you in the zone. I, I liked it actually. but uh, it, it, it doesn't really have 3D. It's, it, it, need, it seems like if it's going to be independent eyes, like Google Cardboard wise, it would need to, you should shoot it in, in legitimate 3D. Oh, I got to go soon. All right, so let, let's get through these. The, the one thing I wanted to show you, let's zing through these because I got to. The one thing I did want to show you, a live view golf, that's something I've tested on the channel. Kick X makes an awesome ball. The Kick X ball is very good. Um, Neuro Connection Golf. Mm, I gotta look at this. Neuro Connect Golf. Oh, it just takes me to the PGA website. Oh, you guys blew it. 
I can't see it. I can't see it. If I can't see it immediately, it's gone because I, I have to go. P2 putter grips look cool. That's another putter grip that kind of gets your hands a little higher, Steve Stricker style. That looks cool. That's something I would try. Perform better makes a lot of th All right, so this, of all the things that I saw, to wrap this video up coming to an end, of all the things that I saw, uh, I didn't see much for training aids. Nothing that I thought was going to be an absolute, you know, something that I had to have. I just had to spend money immediately on. The thing that I liked the most that I saw was this thing called the pitch grip, which is right here. So check out the pitch grip is something, and you see I'm good. Good for these guys. They have a YouTube video. I'd like to refer to what Ben Hogan wrote in his book. I feel like an infielder throwing a ball over to first base. Ben also wrote he did not want to get into the finesse role that the right index finger played. Kind of like writing a suspense thriller and leaving everyone hanging. Well, not any yeah, the right end of his finger is super important to Ben Hogan. He's talking about throwing there. Um, I'm not a huge follower of Ben Hogan. Like, I know, I know about his swing. Like, obviously, like, one of the best ball strikers of all time. Probably the best ball striker of all time. So we should listen. But uh, can we do what he did? Well, we don't have the body like he did. We don't, also don't have the work ethic like he did. So anyway, um, but this pitch grip thing looks cool to me because let's shut the volume up. Because it's a, basically, it's a way to, to hold the club right hand only, but you have the full feeling of having your left hand on there as well. You, so see, right. So you can see it's got a grip that has a bump to it, and it's got a place. You guys see better later. So it has all these different, and I watched this video, which I thought was cool. I think they get a little bit too much into their own swing philosophy and less away from the product. Like, I think you should just stick to the product. Unless you have some like actual like a scientific study that supports your product, then you should do that. But check this pitch grip thing out. This thing I actually emailed them trying to get one and they never wrote me back. But right, a faux a faux left a fake left thumb, a faux left middle finger. So it's a way you know I'm trying to get a lot more right hand dominated in my swing, and this is a great way to do that. So uh, and to actually fill up the whole grip. So this is something I would try, especially as I'm trying to hit a lot more right hand only shots. All right, so that's it. So uh, going through the list, unless something pops, because i got to go to lunch now, unless something pops up, RoboGolf Pro that pops the ball back to you, Sam Putt Lab, we know what that is, putting thing. Uh, if, if I'm missing something, if you were at the PGA show and you think and you saw your, your thing talked about on this video or you saw your product... Um, when you saw your product... Uh, you know, if you saw your product featured on this video is what I'm trying to say, or if you didn't see your product featured on this video, um, and you want a, a review done, if you guys want to see any of these things reviewed, put them in the comments below. If you guys, if you're connected with any of these companies and you want to see a full review, kind of a more fair review done of your product, um, send me an email. My email is below. Thanks for watching, everybody. I don't want to wrap it up yet. There's got to be something more. I, I keep listening. The Littlest Golfer, Napex Golf. I don't know what that is. Net Return, that, that's like an awesome uh, putting net, net. The Putting Stroke Teacher, too general. The Putt Ski, they, they advertise a lot on Instagram that, that does not look as fun as they say it looks. The Swing Duke, I would like to try that. I know what that is. Um, TPI. I'm not super into the TPI thing. Uh, True Golf, Tsunami Bar, V1 Sports. There's something better than V1, in my opinion, right now that's free. Uh, Yamaha Golf, Yantai, and Zoom Tech. That's it. All the way to Z. Zoom Tech, which is uh, that's for like driving range. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit subscribe, like this video and stuff. I know this is very off the wall because I haven't been feeling well. The weather's terrible in California. So I'm going to get out and play more golf soon. Um, Be Better Golf School is coming up too. If you've watched this long, uh, make the comment. Let's see. Make the comment. Uh, I'm just looking in front of me. Flag. So make the comment flag in the description. That'll let me know that you saw the whole video. And people will wonder what the heck you're talking about. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, the other thing I want to tell you about. March 14th, there's going to be a one-day school at Skylines Golf Course with Tony Dudzak. Jeff Flagg and myself will be uh, doing a clinic on the front of the range and then on the back of the range we're going to be teaching like uh, 12 of you uh, all about the full swing and the driver. Jeff is going to be doing a clinic hitting the ball like nearly 400 yards and uh, showing you how he does that with the reactionary golf swing and then we're going to do a full like 
f uh, four to six hour clinic and lunch and everything. And it's going to be amazing. So sign up for that. Uh, email me, bdivorce76 at gmail.com. I'm still setting the pricing for it. But, uh, so uh, I have to figure out how much the course is going to cost me and what the other stuff is going to charge. But it's happening. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.